Hi, I'm Katie. If you want to watch more unboxing here, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Today, we are going to unbox this one. I'll rate this Gemini 200 AGN 747400F in 10 categories. It comes with a standard Gemini black box and has this interactive series logo to highlight this special feature. The model rendering also illustrates this special feature. The packaging is very neat and safe. I'll give 9 for packaging. This model comes with a standard display stand and a set of removable landing gear. Of course, everyone's focus is on the four sets of cargo doors. It also has a little metal key to help you to change the doors. The gear door covers look perfect. You can easily change the nose door like this. And the nose will stand firmly by itself. The fit of the side doors when closed is tight. We need to use this key to take the door out from the hole. Simply insert the open door like this and it's done. The three cargo holes are marked with A, B, C to help you match them with the three doors. I'll give accessories a 10. Just like Gemini's other 747 modes, I have no doubt that this interactive 747 mode is among the best in the market. To be honest, I was not interested in the 747 interactive series when Gemini first released it because the sim between the nose door and the fuselage are too obvious when it's in the closed door configuration. Whether it's a white nose of Atlas Air, a blue one of Korean Air, or a multicolor band of China Airlines, somehow the sims bores me a lot. I told myself a light gray fuselage may have a better results, and I have been waiting for it. And now I finally have this Asiana, and it looks really good. It's very awesome to display it in the open door configuration. I hope the mode of no store will continue to improve. I'll give this mode a 9. These two pairs of GE CF680 C2 engines are very detailed. It has movable fan blades. All four pylons are very well made. So all four engines are pointing towards the same angle. I'll give a 9 for the engines. The build of this model is very good. All angles and positions are correct. There is no visible gap at the attachments and joints. I'll give a 9 for build. The gear leg joints are quite tight. So you can put the gear in a very good looking tilt position like this. I'll give a 9 for the undercarriage. The fine details of this model are good. The nose gear features two gems as the landing lights, but the landing lights on the way are just printed. I'll give details a 9. Asiana's liveries is very well presented in this model. The multicolor threads on the tail and the winglets have very accurate colors. There's no color discrepancy like what we saw in Jay-Z's and in-flight Asiana A321 Neos in the other embossing videos, so I'll give a 10 for livery. It also has very good painting quality. The beige color applied on the fuselage is accurate, and the coloring of the cargo hull interior is exceptionally good. It successfully creates a gradient effect that makes the holes look really realistic.
I will give a 10 out of 10. Based on my own observations in the retail stores and Jumpline's website, I feel that the sales of the interactive series is only fair. Stocks are always available for a longer period after its release, and sometimes I could even see the retailers to do clearance sales. But I think more people will gradually realize that no store has the best look on a great first launch like Asiana's or Cargolops. So these Asiana will have a higher value than others. I'll give a 9. I'll give this interactive Asiana 747400F a total of 93 points in my Eric Index. Do you also have an interactive 747? Or are you still saying no to this new product? Leave a comment to let us know. See you next time.